Right, now I'm going to do a chickpea and potato curry, but because I like sailing and I like camping, I'm going to try this Mr. D. I've tried it once, I was not great with it, but I'm going to give it a go of a go. Right, there's the, the thermal pot. Inside come these things. I've got an added one for, for um, cakes. Um, basically, you're cooking that and you're cooking that a side dish if you wish. Um, and then two lids for both. And then it goes in the thermal cooker. Right, chickpea potato curry then. If I come over here. Basic, dead easy. Uh, two chopped potatoes, really. Um, I like the tea a little bit more because it's the Mr. D you really need over three quarters of it filled for cooking temperature. Then there's the chickpeas, which is come on can. There's two onions chopped. There's lemon juice, uh, chopped coriander. Now, there's a small one of these processors here. And in it, I've put um, two chilies, about three teaspoons of garlic and about four teaspoons of ginger chopped, you know, Three or four pods of garlic, took one inch, two inches, one half inches of ginger, that'll do. Um, and I've also got here, I've got um, ground cumin, ground uh, coriander, uh, chilli powder. Um, in fact, I think, I had, uh, <laughs> um, anyway, th those, those are just uh, shop bought. And this is all done with primarily a view of doing things easily on a boat. Now these are going to be done with kebabs, which are the long seat kebabs. Uh, this particular curry. I like this particular curry with it. If you're vegetarian, it's handy. Anyway, we'll start now and see how we go. This is as much an experiment for, for me as it is for you uh, when uh, we look at this Mr. D. Right, um, the oil is now got hot. Um, there's the onions that are going to go in. When it comes to adding the other ingredients like garlic and ginger, I'll turn it down a bit. The idea with this is to get the um, onions light brown, then you add the, the chopped ingredients um, to do that. And I'm thinking in terms of a boat, um, and I know that I suddenly realised I used a little mini processor here, which of course you can do if you've got electric, but so often you may not do and it may not be convenient. Well, this is the answer to that. It's one of these things, which is a hand chopper. You put the stuff underneath and you whack it down with a plunger and it chops up really lovely. Recommend, recommend one of those. Um, right, this is the onions now. I'll fry those to the light brown. Right, now, I'll be frying these onions. Now, it's important I hold it up. You can see that they're just, they're light, lightish brown. And that's the colour they need to be. Not too dark, not too soft, not like Chinese, this is Indian. So you want it just like that. Lightly, lightly just turning brown. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm stirring up one more time. And I'm gonna turn down the heat to about midway, a little bit over midway on this six, on this particular electric thing. I, I'm not very good on these, but anyway. Right, now I'm adding the, the, you can add them all together, chopped garlic, chopped ginger, chopped chilies, and in they go. Now, this is important now because, smell it, um, when you put this in now, because you'll smell, everything smells raw. Now, Hard to describe on tape, but raw garlic has got a smell, and you're going to smell that. Now, now I'm just turning that round. Now I'm going to cook this until <coughs> the onion gets a dark brown, and <coughs> the raw smell is gone. Does pong a bit. Right, now the raw smell's gone. You see some dark bits at the bottom there, don't worry about that because when you add the water in due course, 
you'll split that off there lovely. That's sort of like so the straw smell's gone, onions are darker brown, and I'm now going to add two teaspoons of coriander. One, two, one teaspoon of chili powder, you can regulate this for your own taste, and one teaspoon of cumin or jeera as they call it. And that goes in. There we go. Tiny bit extra. Now stir that round. Now we add the spuds. Add a little bit of water in there to keep them fresh. Now, with the water at the bottom, you can scrape the bottom and it will come off that, uh, all that black stuff and add to the flavour. Right, now there's the... Now, in the normal recipe, and I mentioned this now, not Mr. D, I would add water now, uh, cook the potatoes, and then near the end, last 10 minutes, add the coriander, uh, sorry, chickpeas, because clearly the chickpeas aren't cooked, they came out of a tin. Um, but because of the recipe that Mr. D's using, I'm going to add the uh, chickpeas now. And then they go. I'm also adding salt. I always use the palm system. There you go. That'll do. You can add more or less. No, you shouldn't add less. More. Give it a good stir around. And now the idea is to uh, add water now. So I'm now adding water, which in fact for convenience I've taken from the hot kettle. And uh, that's just to cover it up, just above it. Again, perhaps a bit more water than I would have done had it not been for a Mr. D. Uh, right, now, because this would be the recipe really um, without the Mr. D. But what I want to do is I want to make, it, it's about halfway there and you need at least that much there so I need, I'm going to have to add a bit to it. So what I'm going to do is I've got here, again, the chopped tomato. Now this is only because of the Mr. D to build up the height. So that's it. That's it. Uh, Now, give that a stir. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get the temperature right. But we're going to try it now. Oh, lemon juice. The lemon juice is in fact one tablespoon, which is that. Shape more. Oh, there we go, a little bit more. Um, that's stirred in. Right, now according to the Mr. D thing, you've got to get this thing up to a boil, then to a simmer for about 10 minutes, and then put it in the Mr. D. So, that's what I'm going to do, and see what happens. Right, now I'm going to put the coriander in, it's been about five minutes to bring up to the boil. I'm now going to simmer it now. Again, if I was doing this recipe um, without 
Mr. D, I wouldn't put the uh, I wouldn't put the coriander in till after it more or less cooked. I sometimes put stock the coriander stalks in sometimes to add to the sauce flavour. But that's it. So I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's it there. Potatoes, of course, uncooked. Right. So. Bring the lid, put the lid on that, bring it back to the boil or back to almost the boil and now I'm going to leave it like that for 10 minutes and then I'm going to put it in the Mr. D, seal it. The time, my time is two o'clock, we're eating about, what, four hours, three and a half hours time. Um, I think they do some recipe in, in the book and they reckon at least an hour. So it should, everything should be cooked by then. We'll see. But uh, now it's a a decent boil. I'm going to reduce it to a seal up. For, for 10 minutes, uh, which I'll set. And then I'll put it in there and we'll see what it's like thereafter. Right, so it's been 10 minutes, bring it up to the boil, so 15 minutes and all in. I mean, pretty much you can, you can no, no, five, 10 minutes have been cooked anyway. But I think the importance of Mr. D is that you can now put it out of here, which I'm doing. I'm putting it now in the Mr. D, like so. I imagine that's where it goes. I'm now sealing it. sealed it now and that sh should now cook and I can put the strap on it because it's a travelling one and uh, now move it to one side down here on the floor and I'm going to leave it now until we're ready to eat it and that's your Mr D cooking we'll have a look at what it looks like when it's finished well Here's the um, Mr. D. It's been cooking now oh, about two hours. Um, now, whether it needs more or not, I don't know. But uh, at least one hour, I thought. Anyway, um, let's see what happens. and see what it looks like. Well, that looks not too bad, really. Well, this is it. It's potato and chickpea curry to be used with kebabs uh, and rotis. And I've added a tin of tomatoes in this particular recipe. Okay.